Hi everyone and thanks very much for tuning in to Smash Factor TV once again. My name's Natalie Adams. So we're going to have a look today with this quick video um, on how to get you uh, transferring your pressure a lot better in your backswing and to stop you having such uh, a steep backswing and to make a much better turn. Now if you're somebody who, if we just look from this angle here, if you're somebody who tends to pick the club up quite a lot during their backswing uh, and is finding it difficult um, to rotate well, then what you might want to consider is where the pressure is in your right foot. Now it's correct that you should transfer uh, your pressure from um, quite an even start if you're hitting an iron maybe 55 percent pressure in your left foot to start with and it should go into your right foot uh, as you swing back but what we want to look at is whereabouts in your right foot it's going now if you're somebody who tends to pick the club up and not make quite a good uh, as good a rotation as you could what you want to consider is when you swing back just feel where the pressure's actually gone to in that right foot and if you tend to pick the club up uh, I would think without looking on the pressure map but I, it, I would suggest that the uh, pressure is going into your toes on your right foot and it should be going into your heel so if you can work on getting that pressure back into the right heel then you'll make much more of a uh, a good turn with the upper body whereas if it goes into the toe so if I massively over exaggerate if it goes into the toe you don't physically have to be lifting the heel but just so you can see you'll tend to pick the club up more okay so here's a, a really good drill to help you with that if you do notice that you're putting the pressure into your toes in your in your back foot in your right foot if you're a right-handed golfer all I want you to do is make a backswing and as you make that backswing, lift your right toes, the right or the front part of that right foot, just lift it up. If you're struggling to do that and you, you're finding you can't lift the front part of that foot up, you're pressurizing too much in the front of that foot, and that's not going to help you make that backswing turn. Okay. Now you could actually hit balls doing this. I'd suggest you just get used to doing it without hitting the ball initially, just so you can get that uh, right foot the front part of that right foot coming up. If you think about the spikes you would have in your golf shoe, basically you just want to work on having the, the back two that would be your heel spikes, just those on the floor. So don't be frightened of lifting that foot up. And as you get better at this, you can make a more subtle movement. So you could actually leave the shoe on the floor, but again, still lift your foot within your shoe. Okay, but that's a much more subtle movement. So to start with, just actually lift that foot up. So if we just have have a little rehearsal of that so as I swing back I'm going to make an upper body rotation I'm going to go into my right heel but I'm not into my toes and that's going to help me rotate and get a, a, more, a much flatter position at the top which will really help you if you're someone that's struggling uh, being a bit too steep so let's go hitting the ball with that just get used to it without the ball first and then you can start to introduce it into the ball and you'll find that you get a much better rotation, uh, much better position at the top, the pressure's moving better in that right foot, you're not getting stuck in your right toe with the pressure, which blocks that rotation. It's a game-changing golf tip. <laughs> 